Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southerns cooking back at the day with another video. All right, what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be doing us a Jiffy Coin Bread Casserole. We got a, a whole onion here that is, we got chopped up. We're going to go ahead and put that in our frying pan and get these going to come alive the way we want it. Then we're going to drop our pound of hamburger meat in as well. That's what we're doing today, y'all. Go ahead and go ahead and set my oven on 350 to get it preheated up. All right, our onions coming along pretty good here. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna move these off to the side and open up a space to drop our hamburger meat down in. Go ahead and put the flat on that there. And we're going to start frying this. It's still a little frozen. Time to break it up real good. And we're going to go ahead and start breaking this on up. Just as you see me doing. Turn my stove down just a little bit. As that cook, we're gonna go ahead and add us a little salt. And a little pepper. Gonna continue to let this uncook. Just answer. All right, turn my stove back up a little bit. Why is that cooking? We're going to go ahead, we got a one-eighth a cup of sugar right here. We're going to be making two pans of cornbread. And we got a whole can of uh, cream of corn. We're going to put half in each uh, mix of cornbread. So we're going to go ahead and crack our egg into this pan. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Put one box of mix in here. I should have put the mix in first because I need to break up the the doggone what you call him. I did it backwards. Usually you have to break up the doggone uh, hard balls in the in the in the bread mix. We got one third cup of milk. That's what the box called for. I think it's gonna need more than one third cup of milk. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add what it needs. We're going to go ahead and put a half a can of cream of corn in here. And we're saving the other half for our next batter. Well, that might be right. Yeah, that's right. One third of a cup of milk was good. So we're gonna go ahead and stir that up good. Now we're gonna get our check on our pot over here. See what's going on over here. You know everything broken up real good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to drain the juice off our meat here, on the other side over here. Now we 
put our meat back in. Now we drain the juice off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to turn our stove down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add, we're going to drain the juice off of this uh, can of Rotel here. Then we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And so. And we got a can of tomato sauce. And we got a uh, size can. This is this, this is a small can. I can't really see it, but this is the small can of tomato sauce. So what we're going to do now, we're going to combine this all together. And so. Get it all combined it together. And we're going to add a little sugar with this in as well for the acid of the tomato sauce. We're going to let this in simmer. Let that cook a little bit. We're going to add a little sugar. Not much, just sprinkle a little bit on top. We're gonna let this assemble. All right, now we're gonna add our cornbread into our pan. Just like so. Now what we're going to do, we're going to make us another batch of cornbread, the same as we just did. We're going to make us another batch of cornbread. So we're going to go ahead and make that up right quick. All right, we got our other batch of cornbread made up. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start adding this meat to our bread. See me doing. We're not trying to put that much juice on it. Out of the meat with the tomato sauce and stuff. Just trying to basically get the meat. But I'm gonna use the juice as well. As you see me doing just like this right here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add up some cheese. Let me get me another pan to put my cheese in. All right, y'all. I'm back. Put my cheese in. Cheese, huh? It's only two cups of cheese right here. That's all we're gonna need. We'll cover this. And we're gonna cover this with aluminum foil as well. And we put it in the oven. Now we're gonna put our other layer of cornbread on top. Like so. Now we're gonna get our spatula. And we're 
we're gonna smooth it. Just like so. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna put this in the oven. And I'll tell you how long it's gonna take. I'm gonna estimate about around 45 minutes. That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna set the timer for. 45 minutes on 350. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. We'll be back. Don't go nowhere. All right, we just took it out the oven. About 42 minutes. We took the aluminum foil off. And now we're going to set it back in the oven for another probably 15, about another 15 minutes. be back all right ladies and gentlemen I cut uh dish just coming out the oven this thing have been in the oven about an hour and 10 minutes then we put it on boil just a little bit just to brown the top up a little bit but actually yeah cooking at 350 takes a little longer so anyway we're gonna let it cool off for about 10 minutes and we're gonna dive into this right here so this is the good part all right, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got. 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 Should I scoop it with a spatula? Should I try it with a... We're going to try it like this right here, y'all. Let me break the sides first. Make sure the sides free. And we're going to try it like this up. See what we got. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we got, y'all. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. That's what we got, y'all. Got to bring y'all in closer to that duh. That's what we got, y'all. That's what it looked like on the inside of the pan right there. Yes, sir. Now, you know we got to get a taste now. You got to pass the taste test. Go in here and see what it tastes like. Still kind of warm, though, but we still got to taste it. Mm. Like I said, it's still kind of warm. But it's showing up doggone good. Mm mm mm. What's up? All right, ladies and gentlemen. See some of the meat duh. This is our Jiffy Jiffy cornbread casserole right here. This is what we got going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, put a thumbs up, ring the bell, and be notified. You can catch me on Instagram, Facebook. You can also catch me on my website, www.tyronesouthernscooking.com. Let me bring you a little closer to that right there. Let's see what's going on in there. To see what's going on right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.